Welcome to the Network Engineering Video Blog. I am your host, Michael Crane. In today's video, we're going to use Wireshark to look at a SIP two-way call where a customer calls customer support and then the support person puts the customer on what I call fake call hold, AKA mute. So this is very common and I tell you how to recognize if you might be on fake call hold. And we also look at the SIP call trace for a user putting someone on, on fake or on, on mute, basically. <laughs> not, it's not call hold, it's, it's actually mute, right? Very common customer in customer support <laughs> circles, so I think you should be aware. So let's get started. Okay, so this is gonna be the call mute test, all right? <laughs> and uh, actually, we're gonna call this the fake call hold test because I wanted to show you something that uh, uh, could happen to you and it probably has happened to you and you may or may not have known it. So uh, I'm just gonna mention it. So let's say you're a customer, right? And let's say you're calling, oh, I should have called this customer support instead of operator, but we'll just call it the operator for this demo. So <clears throat> we're going to, uh, let's do a phone call here. Yeah, 192. If you've watched my previous videos, you know why I'm doing the direct IP calling because we don't have a PBX yet. That'll be in future videos. But anyway, I digress. So the customer is calling customer support. All right. And yeah, customer support is picking up the phone. Uh, yes, may I help you? And uh, the customer is saying, yes, my internet is, is down. I need it fixed. And the customer support person says, okay, hold one minute, please. And instead of putting you on hold, he or she hits the mute button, all right? And as you can tell, I can talk, hello, 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 hello. So this, the customer, you the customer, you just hear nothing but dead silence, right? You've, I'm sure everyone's been put on mute before, right? However, the customer support, per, support person, I don't know if you can hear the volume, but the customer support person can hear everything you say, right? So if you start saying, oh, that customer support person is a POS and sounds like an idiot, and blah, 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 blah. You being the, the customer thinking you're on hold and you're not really on hold. <laughs> anyway, when that customer support person takes you off fake call hold, they're gonna have a whole new attitude towards you. <laughs> So anyway, I just wanted to, uh, to bring that up because uh, I'm sure it has, hap it has happened to everyone. I'm almost 100% positive of it. And if you're a customer support person and want to chime in and, and give us some stories on some of the stuff you've heard people say, and let us know. Oop. All right. Okay, so here's our Wireshark capture from our fake call hold. I wanted to do this for completion. We've looked at call transfer, uh, conference calling, call hold. And I just wanted to show you that, as you can see here, uh, there is no SIP messages involved with a call hold, right? And I just wanted to show you that. So here's, I mean, here's the invite, the 200 OK. We're in a communication state at that point. Oh, sorry, after this acknowledge of the 200 OK. And then we chit chatted for about, looks like 15 seconds and then hung up, right? So one thing I, I, I didn't mention when we're um, looking at the phones is one way to tell if, if you're on fake call hold is if you don't hear any music on hold, then uh, you were probably on fake call hold, okay? Or mute. <laughs> so that's one way to tell because most most PBX systems will not, not that they can't put music on hold when you put someone on mute, um, but they don't. And one of the reasons why is for conference calls. So if your PBX played music on hold every time you, you put your phone on mute, 
and you know played music on hold to the other the other party then you know, everyone on the conference call would hear your music on hold it would be very disruptive and you would be hated by many also a PBX can record the both ends actually of the of the conversation if if an operator puts you on hold then they just, they can just redirect the sip stream to a um another server that just records whatever RTP it can pick up. <laughs> and then it'll, it can play music uh, back to you and, and still record what you're saying. So uh, yeah, just be careful of that. And, and most people know that, but the fake call hold is, is real easy to do and it's very common um, with customer support people. So, all right, don't forget, you can support the network engineering video blog by donation using a credit card and PayPal, or by purchasing products at the Muxall store. Details and links are in the description under this video. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up, that helps, and hit the subscribe button, that really helps. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments under this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.